Hi, I'm Darren Cox. We're here in sunny Stratford-on-Avon. Unfortunately, the farmers decided he wants to uh, extract some water out of the pool because the sun's shining for his crops, so I'm having to shout up. We're here at um, it's Clifford Pool. It's a fantastic place. It's under the ADAC ticket. And what we've been doing, we've been doing a feature catching fish down the edge. Caught lots and lots of fish. Been really good fun. One of the features about this pool is even the margins are really deep. It's full of fish, all kinds of and sizes of carp, from ghosties to commas and mirrors and even some barbel. I'm, I'm not putting my rig in the water at the moment because I'll end up catching a fish and not be able to talk to you. But I'll put it in now. We started on the deck, fishing about five foot deep. And as is always the case, if you try and keep these fish down on the margin, look at that, I've, got, I've just gone in and instantly it's gone, gone under. As I say, we tried, tried keeping these fish on the bottom, you know, using heavy baits, corn and things like that. But quite honestly, there is so many fish in here of all sizes that the liners are a real problem. And that's one of the major problems with most fisheries where you're trying to catch in what your eye class as deep edges, anything sort of around over say four feet deep but today here it's like five five and a half foot deep so very deep and you put some feed in put corn in you can put whatever you want in heavy pellets trickle them in pot them in and put loads in and quite honestly it's one of those days where it doesn't make a massive amount of difference the fish are so desperate to eat coming up in the air and even in the margins in this, these deeper margins especially they're coming up and causing problems with um, liners so I knew this would happen I've fished here before and you know the fish are beautiful size you know lovely mirrors and commons of sort of from from 12 ounces to five six pounds and an odd slightly bigger one but what I've been doing is feeding both edges. As I say, started using corn and pellets. Yeah, what I've been doing is, is fishing with heavy baits, feeding heavy baits on the bottom. I caught quite a lot of fish, but started to get silly indications. I could tell the fish were coming off the bottom. And despite trying to be sensible with feeding, not feeding too much, not feeding too often, I thought the only way is to actually fish for them deep shallow as we caught, caught a, like a half depth rig in the margins and the fish have responded really really well to it. So rather than going from not putting much bait in regularly, I'm now at a stage where I'm just slapping my rig in, catching a fish, then feeding. And that's a perfect sequence, they are absolutely perfect, catching some nice big F1s but all I'm doing is I'm fishing with the it's actually a margin float that I'm fishing um, shallow with it's the basically it's 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 the DC 002 it's a fantastic margin float that so strong but what is important is it's got a thick tip it's got a two and a half mil tip which gives me the ability to hold a six mil pellet up. So I can I can basically shot my float, have quite a bit of bristle showing, and then what happens is when I put a pellet on and it settles, it'll just drop the bristle down a bit, but the but the, the float will hold it up. To so say this is the uh, 0.1 version, sorry, 0 0.2, uh, 0.1 version, yeah. So there's hardly any shot on it, but I'm catching these fish real look straight away put the rig out, go to throw the um, feed in and as I've thrown the feed in the float's gone under and I've hooked a fish and it's been like that and it's just getting better and better all the time so these fish are coming up and what's happening now is where I was earlier I was e even catching a, a tiny fish, tiny little carp and F1s up in the water, the, the better fish is starting to come in now and I've had two or three really good ones just recently um, 
you know, not, they're not huge fish in here, but for this lake, you know, five, six pound fish are good. And just real good weight builders. But the important thing has been just keeping that pellet going in now. So I've just, all I've got is, I've got three number 10s on this rig and they are just below half depth. So, you see, another nice fish there. Little common. And I'm just fishing with the banded pellet. I've got, I've got a, a pellet band that I've hooked on the hook. I'm just literally putting that, that on there. Using one of our Galbino pellet hooks. They're beautiful, they are a nice shape for it. In a size 16, so 016. So I'll put the rig out, flick it in, get some bait, throw the bait, lands, and there you go, fish on, absolutely instant. It's so, it's such nice fishing, and when you can get this to work like this in a match, this is when you have proper purple days. I mean, this is only a small fish, but they're just, everyone's a weight builder. Every fish you get is a weight builder. You know, it's a, a little F1, but it's, you know, Look at that, it's touching, touching a pound, that, for sure. And they're just, it's just nice fishing. One of the things with edge fishing that's so important is if, if you're fishing in deep margins, there's no point fishing with light gear. There's no point faffing about trying, trying to fish with a tiny little, little float and it takes ages to drop down. There's a lot of water to, to be fishing through and you need to get down there quickly. You need to have a thick tip float, like I said, so it's buoyant and you need to be able to define the bites. Oh, straight away, I didn't even get a chance to feed them, but I fed and that's ready for next time now. Absolutely perfect fishing. But if I was fishing on the bottom in this deep, sharp, deep margin, I would be having all kinds of problems all kinds of problems because the fish just want to come up the sun's shining the fish are up the water's warming up and and most importantly there's so much competition for feed these fish if they want to want to eat and they've got to come up and compete with all the other fish some beautiful fish in this pool as well absolutely wonderful colors look at that absolutely beautiful fish isn't he and there's lots and lots of sort of this size, so you know they've, they've not been in the pool that long, but they're growing on really nicely, in really nice condition, and they're loving these pellets. These are mainline six mil activated pellets. It's got a nice smell to them. Fish seem to love them. Caught, catch a load of fish at places like Barston on them, and they're great for fishing shallow because they sink, and that's one of the most important things. I'd say this has been a really nice session fishing like uh, the margins for lots and lots of fish steady away but fishing them sh fishing shallow for them because the margins are deep there you go oh I bumped that one because the margins are deep I've had to adapt my way of fishing and ensure that I maximize my fish hooked that constant feed, six mil pellets going in, nothing else, just ringing the bell, making the noise. These fish come to these pellets straight away. And it's the kind of method that will work in most places where you've got these deep margins. Two things to look for. When you can fish quite a long way from your own self, down the margins and you've got lots of cover, that's where you'll catch just fishing your, your shallow margin. The other thing as well is, look at the wind today. The wind is right in my face, it's blowing into my right hand margin. It's absolutely perfectly. So there you go, straight in. I've had one fish, got another one. If you've got a place that's got deep edges just like this, try the pellet half depth with a lovely little margin rig. You'll have a fantastic day's fishing. And if you've got a competition coming up where you think this will work, give it a go. Be bold.
keep feeding, get through a lot of pellets, but it's well worth it. Finish off with that beautiful little fish, look at that. <laughs>